Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Naomi and this is the Easy QS channel. If you're new here, this is a channel that helps students revise for their exams and also share knowledge on construction and building. So uh, in today's video, uh, it's for building and civil engineering students and the purpose of this video is to discuss about center lines. So in case you're new to this channel, kindly remember to subscribe so that you can be able to support us. Also hit the notification bell so that whenever we upload new videos, you can be notified. So uh, how do we calculate center lines? Uh, when we are taking off, you have come across center lines. We want to know how do you calculate center lines in the easiest way possible. Our center lines have been a challenge to so many students and uh, this is a, something that you have to use in every stage when you're taking off. Uh, either substructure or superstructure works. So we want to know how do we calculate center lines. First of all, what is a center line? A center line is a line that passes through the center of the wall maybe uh, we have a building here for example uh, it's a rectangular building then we have it is made it is surrounded by a wall assuming it's a masonry wall and then uh, this is the wall that uh, this building has then the dimensions of this building is maybe it is 4000 millimeters uh, by 3000 millimeters okay we have that building. Then the thickness of the wall here, uh -huh, all around, is 200 millimeters. So we want to calculate the volume of wall in this building. Uh, we are told that this building has a height of 3,000 millimeters. That is the height. Okay. So we have a building. It's 4,000 millimeters length, 3,000 millimeters width. The height of the building is 3,000. So this one you can just say it's 4 meters. This is 4 meters. Then this one is 3 meters. Then the height is 3 meters. We want to calculate the volume of this wall. Assuming we are told. Or the in simple, uh, maybe we can just try first thing to calculate uh, the area of the wall. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we have this building, and we want to calculate the area of the wall. You realize that uh, to calculate this one, there are so many methods. And because it's just a simple rectangular building, it could be a bit easy. Because what shall we do? Uh, to calculate the area of this wall, we just need to subdivide this wall up to here, up to here. So we shall say this is one wall here. And we know the area of the, our wall is usually length times height. Then we shall subdivide another wall here. Uh, this is another wall. Mm -hmm. So it shall be the length, 4 meters, times the height, 3 meters. So uh, the length, uh, we shall say areas for the walls on the length side shall be uh, 4 times the height, 3, 12 meters. And there are two walls. So we shall multiply by 2, we shall get 24 meters squared. Okay, that is the area for the walls on the length side. Then we shall come to the areas for the wing. Why have we separated these walls? Because if we do not separate these walls at the corners here, we could end up repeating the areas. But you can see this wall will start from here. You know the wall has a thickness. So it shall start from here up to here. Then the other one from here up to here. Alright, so for the width side, the areas... For the width side, it shall be uh, from here up to here. How do we calculate that? This one from outside here to outside here, it was 3 meters. Then we are told the thickness of the wall is 200. So we shall take 3,000, then we shall deduct, we shall deduct two, two walls here and here times the thickness which is 200. We shall get 400. So to, we shall take 3,000 measurements from external to external. Measurements externally, there are 3,000. We did that 400, we shall get 2,600. So measurements from here up to here is 2,600. So what is the area of the wall from here up to here? So it shall be length times height. So the length is 2.6 meters. The height is still 3 meters. So what shall be the answer? We shall get the answer as 7.8 meters squared. 
for one for one uh, wall. Then we have two walls. So it shall be 7.8 times 2. It shall be 15.6 meters squared. So the total area of the walls in this building shall be this length, this area plus this area. So it shall be 24. We add 15.6. So it shall be 39.6 39.6 meters squared. 39.6 meters squared. So this one shall be the uh, area for the for the walls. We can also use a different method to calculate the area for the walls. Uh -huh. So uh, instead of using this method where we have to separate the walls, the long walls and the short walls, this is what we call them. Eh? We take the long wall, then we take the short wall so that we can get the areas of the walls. We can alternatively use the center line to find the areas of these walls. So what do I mean? Uh, when we talk of center line, we shall walk at the center of the wall. So we shall begin at a point here. So we shall walk like this, up to here, up to here, mm -hmm. like that. So if we find the length of this broken line that is walking at the center of the walls, then we must write by the height of the wall. We should get the same answer as this one. And that is what we call center line. So how will we calculate uh, the length of that broken line? So we'll start from this point here. I uh, will ask ourselves, uh, from here up to here, it's 3,000. The thickness of the wall is 200, but we will take a half of 200 and a half of 200. So 100 will be left out and 100 shall be left out. So what will be the length of the wing? The wing shall be 3000, then we less 200. 200 because it's 100 this side and 100 outside there. So 3000 minus 200, it shall be 2800. Then for the length, it shall be 4,000, then we less 200 for the here and here. So it shall be 3,800. So how do we calculate the perimeter? Now that we have the length and the width, perimeter is equal to 2 into bracket length plus width. So it shall be 2 into bracket 3,800 plus 2,800. So we shall get 2 into bracket 66. Hundred, uh huh. So we shall get thirteen two hundred. All right, thirteen two hundred millimeters. So what is this in meters? It shall be thirteen point two meters. Then we should multiply by the height. The height, uh, height. We said it's three meters. Okay. So length times height shall give us the area of the walls. So the length shall be. Uh, 13.2 length is made, represented by the center line. 13.2 times 3. Okay, so what shall be the answer? 3 times 2, 6. Uh -huh. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 1, 3. 36.6 meters squared. Have we got the same answer? Yes, we have got the same answer. So, in simple, that is what we always call center line. Instead of uh, separating the walls, having long walls and short walls, we can go through the center, then we multiply by the height, that will always give us the center line. Assuming it was a trench, assuming now we have a trench, it will be a, a new one, uh -huh. we still have a, a building here, it's a building made of a masonry wall, so it has a thickness. So assuming this one is still 4 meters, here we have 3 meters, and the thickness of the wall is still 0 0.2 meters. Then, uh, this one being the wall, uh, we had a section. Mm -hmm. We are going to a bit complex stuff. Uh -huh. We had a section here. Uh, it had concrete here. Mm -hmm. Oversight concrete, then we had a uh, maram blinding up to some thickness there, then we had hardcore, hardcore, just like normal sections come. Then we have a uh, concrete here, it's a strip foundation. This is the wall, then we have concrete here, and this concrete we are told the thickness is 600. This one is concrete, 
the thickness of the wall here it's 200 millimeters and now we want to calculate uh, the center line of this trench here you see if this is the wall the trench will have a foundation spread on the outside just as we had spoke about in a previous video then uh, we shall have this will be the outline of the trench because the wall should be positioned at the center of the trench. You can see the wall is at the center of the trench. Then in the trench, we have the concrete. So to find the volume of this concrete here, what shall we do? We need to find the center line of this trench, which shall be the center line of the wall because the wall is at the center of the trench. So if we find this center line here, then we shall multiply by the thickness of the trench. Then we multiply by the width of the trench, then the thickness of the concrete. We should get the volume of this concrete. Okay? So, uh, if we are asked to find the volume of concrete in this trench, what shall we do? We shall find the center line of this trench. And the center line of that trench shall be the same as the center line of the wall. Because the wall is positioned at the center line, at the center of the trench all right so uh what will be the center line let's calculate the center line at uh, the center line we have said using the, the method i have already taught you you shall take uh, the measurement from uh here to here it was four meters four meters we shall deduct a hundred and a hundred so it shall be four meters four, four meters is four thousand millimeters then we shall deduct a uh, hundred to come to the center of the wall and a hundred to come to the center of the wall so for the, the length side it shall be uh, that 800 for the width side we have 3000 uh-huh then we deduct 200 100 100 so we shall get 2800 okay so uh when we shall be finding the center line the center line center line it shall be uh, peri it's the same as the perimeter and perimeter is the same as 2 into bracket length plus width so it shall be 2 into bracket uh, that's 800 plus 2800 okay so uh, 28 that's 800 plus 2800 it shall be 6600 once we multiply by 2 we shall get 13200 this is the center line millimeters so the center line is 13.2 meters if we want to find the volume of this concrete we shall take 13.2 meter the center line we multiply by 0 0.6 which is the width of the trench then we shall multiply by uh, the thickness of this concrete say it was 0 0.25 so the volume of concrete volume of concrete concrete shall be equal to length times width times height so the length shall be 13.2 meters then we shall multiply by the width which is the width of the trench which is 0.6 then the thickness of the concrete which is 0.25 all right so take your calculator and just multiply then you shall get the volume of the concrete if we wanted to know the area of this wall we should just have taken 13.2 because it's the center line of the trench which is the center line of the wall then we must read by the height of this wall then we shall know the area of the wall so center line helps us a lot so that one is the foundation to know why we use center line and how do we calculate center line but now there's a very simple method i want to show you on how to calculate center line so check out on our next video